Baseball 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. They're the rambling wreck from Georgia Tech and quite the engineer too. And today on the flats, the Yellow Jackets are hoping to engineer a huge home victory. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Georgia Tech is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And with that, we kick off our season. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 47. That'll bring up second and three. on the ground and he won't get back to the line I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to and the net result is a loss so it's third down now and they're going to need about four He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 47-yard line. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up the fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Georgia Tech's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good playing at home, and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. And he tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. Here we go, Green 95, Green 95. He's out to the 30. Gets out to around the 32. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Ready, right 80. That's a great tackle at the 43. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Got 
Cuts him open field. And down he goes at the 49. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here we go. Light it. Pitches back. Nice run to the outside. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. bring him down in the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. That makes it second and 14. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way out to about the 25. This is the eighth play of the drive. He's tackled right around the 16 yard line. That brings him second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tenth play of the drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They got him for a loss. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. So at the end of one, still no score. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the five. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They'll bring him down right around the 34. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. run and he's brought down that's good for a gain of seven yards first the yellow jackets now with their quarterback down to an injury and they've got to find a way to get back in this game and get their heads back in the game without their leader 
He fights forward to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line, second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Scrambling around. They bring him down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. He's leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Georgia Tech is up a field goal. Right around midfield. That's a deep 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 deep. That brings up second and one. Watch 20, check 20. You must be true. Run! 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 He's taken down around the 47 yard line. From the 47-yard line, first down. He's at the 30. Tackle made around the 17-yard line. So it's first and ten after the big run. The ten. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. converts the extra point. A four-play, 59-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. So the score now, 10-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Copeland from the three. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front in the line of scrimmage. At this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Brad, he drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll bring up 36. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Setting up play action. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. 
That makes it first and ten. ten. And he's hit immediately. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. Ready. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. The offense calls a timeout. And they'll have one timeout left. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. Here comes the pressure. Brought down in the open field. Check, check. Stand right. Stand right. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Ball start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Ready. Bring that I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Yellow Jackets took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out their different plays and formations. And then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Bostic gains about two yards on the run. That, that makes, makes it second and eight. from their own 22-yard line. Second down. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. Georgia Tech's got a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. These teams only play one game a week, only 12 games in a normal regular season. I think fans have a hard time understanding why their squad can come out and play without any energy, any emotion. Keep it real with us. Tell us what it's like. Why is it hard for a player sometimes in a game like this? Well, if the fans showed the same emotion, then maybe we would too as a player. Because think about it. When I walk out there and I'm playing one of the big dogs, the stadium's rocking. They're, they're going crazy. They're going ballistic. They're hydrated. You know exactly what's going on. They're into it. They've been tailgating for hours. Well, there's a reason these little games they don't get up for us. They don't get as excited. They're not yelling and screaming as much. That you could you could turn the it's like you turn the volume down at home. I mean, you can hear the difference. I know the difference. I know I'm supposed to beat this opponent. It's really a matter of just by how much I'm supposed to win by. So there is a difference. You can feel it in the fans, and, and you can feel it sometimes as a player. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he'll return this one from the seven. They'll bring him down at the 30. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Midfield, and he's brought down at the 44. Yeah. 
First and ten. Ball on the 44. Gets to about the 41-yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Pitches back. Excellent open field tackle. That's a game one on the play. Third down. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Decides to slide. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Brought down around the 29-yard line. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. From the 29-yard line, second down. And now he pitches it. Gets out to around the 18. to the 15-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. And that sets them up for the first and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Great play by the halfback there to find his way into the end zone. Again, the offense goes with the option. The defender can only pick one player. And this time, he can't pick the wrong guy. He makes the PAT. A nice nine play, 69 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Copeland fields it at the two. And he's tackled at the 24. Georgia Tech's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Number 54 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's to the 40, and down he goes at the 45. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four.
gets to about the 41 yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. From the 41 yard line. First down. And he's immediately tackled. White takes a tackle at the 33 yard line. That makes it second and two. Around the 37 yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Olsen 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 Olsen. From the 37 yard line. Third down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He's at the 20, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. This is the eighth play of this drive. That's three down and one to go. The Yellow Jackets lead it by 17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he's taken down around the 16-yard line. That brings him second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 16. golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Man open and incomplete. It's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it. before he can get there. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll bring him down at the 14. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 14-yard line, second down. Space. He gets to about the 31 yard line. From their own 31 yard line. First down. Run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. And he's tackled at the thirty five. First and ten. 
Ball on the 35-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run, and he's brought down. Makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, third down. He's going to try and scramble. Lost the ball. Fumble. He picks it up. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Under heavy pressure. Moves up, and the defense has got it. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. Davis picks up seven yards with that catch. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on the 25-yard line. Under a minute left. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Martin is waiting for the snap. And he muffed it. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. That's a tough play. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. Takes a knee. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Tackle around the 47-yard line. And so that's going to do it. The Yellow Jackets take this game 17-0. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.